with you that um, conventional uh, treatments are state of the art, and this is state of the art science. When you're talking about dealing with cancer, you should deal with oncologists that are uh, at the cutting edge. But um, they're not state of the art when it comes to the preventing of these things, and th that that's a giant issue that a lot of people have when it comes to nutrition, lifestyle, um, uh, mitigating stress, all the various factors that contribute to a, a bunch of different health ailments. Do you think that mushrooms could also play a factor in that as well? And Absolutely. That Absolutely. There's a great um, epidemiological study that came out of Japan, and Dr. Ikikawa was an epidemiologist that worked for the, the National Cancer Center in Tokyo. Um, and they noticed um, in surveying uh, people in Japan in the 1960s, early 1970s, there was a dearth a drop in the overall cancer rate in this one population in Nagano Prefecture in Japan. So he was sent there by the National Cancer Center of Tokyo by the government to say, what are these people doing in this one cluster of villages where they have statistically significant less cancer rates? We're talking about 30% less than the national average. And after exhaustive study, he found that they were eating enoki mushrooms, a lot of them. Specifically, the consumption of enoki mushrooms re, uh, resulted in a reduction of cancer across the board of all cancers, statistically significant. I think over 220,000 people in this epidemiological survey. I've written about 10 articles for the Huffington Post, and you can Google Stamets Huffington Post and enoki mushrooms and see all the citations on enoki mushrooms, on lion's mane, uh, on agaricon, all these mushrooms I'm talking about. Uh, they're all peer-reviewed past physicians. They're all very short articles, uh, but they summarize a lot of the research that I'm talking about.